Okay, hello. Uh, my name is Osman Ali and I am a le lecturer at Cardan University. How are you, Diamonds? Uh, as I promised you that I will record some of my uh, some of my videos on QuickBooks and will hand it over to you in the class session. So, here I am. Now, if you remember in our previous lecture, we actually worked on that how to create uh, items in QuickBooks. So today would be as, uh, our, our my today's video is actually on that lecture. So uh, to have to create items in QuickBook, we're gonna go uh, and click on the list menu, and then we inside list menu we're gonna click on the item list. Now once you click on the item list, on the left bottom, if you can see there is an item button, if you click on it, you get a menu inside. In in that menu, I will click on new item. So that's actually the method for creating a new item okay now you you can see we have some service non inventory part other charges sub subtotal group discount payment these are uh, some of the inventory items options available other than that if you remember we we studied like inventory assembly and these things also so if if you don't have these names in your inventory item there is no need of getting uh, getting yourself in stress just uh, i will cancel this inventory item i will actually go to the main menu and then i will go and click on edit preference okay items and inventory item company preference and here if you can see inventory and purchase orders are active i will click on this one okay and i will just go and click okay okay that's it let again i will go back to my list item list this is my item list item button new and this time if you can see we have inventory part inventory assembly we have some other inventories now available too <coughs> Now, in this video, I will go for inventory part, inventory assembly for time being, and then in other videos, I will go for service and non-inventory part and other ones. Now, inventory part, <coughs> if I have a mess, m m what you say, merchandising concerns, so actually I buy uh, commodities in finished form and I sell it in finished form, okay? That would be my inventory part actually. But if I have a manufacturing concerns, then I buy raw material and I convert that raw material into finished good. So in that case, my raw material would be my inventory part. And once I convert in raw material into finished good, that conversion is actually this inventory assembly. So <clears throat> as you can see, I have created a company by the name of ABC Practice Company. And let's suppose we are a manufacturing concern. And what we manufacture actually is we manufacture central processing unit, CPU for computers. Now, to manufacture CPU, uh, what we do is that we purchase raw materials. In QuickBook, we call those raw materials as inventory part if we are a manufacturing concern. So let me create some of the uh, raw material inventory items. Like you're well aware that to <coughs> manufacture central processing unit of a computer, you need RAM. That's a very famous. Uh, item actually so I will create uh, a RAM uh, by uh, naming it item name or number RAM sub item of currently I'm not using the sub item uh, we will use it shortly uh, let's go to manufacturing part number manufacturing part number is actually the number which actually the original uh, manufacturer has given uh, this RAM a unique identification number let's suppose in our case it is RM123 so I will type in there then the quick quickbook asks for the unit of measure unit of measure would be uh, a scale for us actually to measure uh, and based on that measurement we will apply value to this ram in uh, the balance sheet or as well as in the income statement so uh, i will click on enable it asks some little bit information from me like the, uh, the which features do you need you need single unit of measurement per item or you need for same item more than one unit of measurement for simplicity reasons I will go for single uh, unit measurement uh, unit of measurement per item click next then it asks it has some different measurement types we have if you can see we have count here length here weight here volume area time now in my case RAM is based on countings so I will click on count click next and then it the it says that that go more specific is it that you're gonna count it by quant each basis pair basis dozen basis what would be the criteria you're gonna use I would click on each basis that one RAM is equal to this much dollars 
then I will click on finish so my unit of measurement is defined here then <coughs> description on purchase transaction description on sales transactions it's an optional thing if I want to give any uh, descriptive uh, detail of this thing I can this is the right place actually to type in that information here and for sales here if there is then Quebec asks from me that what is the cost of this RAM for sure I will purchase this raw material from a supplier so this supplier sells this raw material on what let's suppose I purchase this uh, raw material on $15 then Quebec asks from me that okay if you sell this RAM okay so you wanna which account to be debited because uh, you have to decrease the inventory and all such things so quickbook is a smart software if you can see it has already created cost of goods sold for us because when we sell commodities we had to debit cost of goods sold and we had to credit inventory actually okay then uh, quickbook asks from me that is there any preferred yender from whom you want to purchase ram time being we have not studied how to create vendor or yender accounts so we will not use this option but shortly we will use it in coming videos okay then if I sell this RAM so on which price I have plans to sell it let's suppose I want to sell it on $20 now although we are a computer manufacturing company central processing unit manufacturing company in fact now here I have two plans one I will use these RAMs in in different CPUs and make money in and I another plan is that that if some of the customers needed RAM individually I, I'm willing to sell RAM individually on them also so in that case I have given it a price when I sell it it's a sales for me it's an income for me and I I have to tell my quick book that actually where to record this $20 actually in my books of accounts so it is a sale no am I selling a hardware or am I selling a software that's a RAM it's a hardware actually it's a tangible asset so I will click on sales hardware that's my sale further that if if we come down we can see that inventory information uh, center it's a quantity information they ask from us one when we purchase any raw material it becomes the part of the balance sheet and we actually name them as inventory okay a current asset okay in in quickbook it's in this case other current asset but still it is current asset I will click on inventory if the inventory count is not created here so what I will do is that I will click on this add new button here this one this option and you know how to create a new account still I will give you a video for that one also okay for for our example I will click on inventory I said that whenever I purchase inventory uh, sorry whenever I purchase raw material it would be inventory in my balance sheet but whenever I sell it it will shift to income statement and the name give the new name given to this inventory would be cost of console now further we have a reorder point here uh, like minimum so reorder point means that that how much minimum quantity of rams should be available and the quick book should give us a uh, an alert that sir this is the right time actually to purchase why because by the time this remaining inventory will finish new inventory will arrive and there will be no blockage no uh, time management issues no extra costs incurred so let's suppose I want QuickBook to inform me when my quantity of RAMs or the inventory reaches to 15,000 RAMs so the QuickBook will, will automatically inform me that time maximum how much I want to keep RAMs with me in maximum let's suppose I want to keep 100,000 RAMs with me and currently as you can see the date is 12th of January 2017 currently how many RAMs are available in my shop or in my business with me so let us suppose I say that I have 80,000 RAMs available now QuickBook is a smart software and you will see it not just right now you will see it in many many times what QuickBook will do is that QuickBook will multiply this per unit cost $15 to 80,000 and it will give me a total value automatically like in this case it's there okay so it means that actually our company had invested 1.2 million dollars in rams okay and um, this this 1.2 million right now when i press okay and this this item is created it will automatically go to the balance sheet current asset portion by the name of inventory asset so this is how we actually create an inventory part and what which type of 
business we are doing computer manufacturing okay now what you will do is that I will upload and uh, I will give you another there is another video in the sequence that how to create an inventory assembly but for for that video before watching it make sure that you create uh, at least four to five item part inventory parts actually okay like I have created RAM what you can do is that you can create RAM press OK then again go to type select on inventory part and then create motherboard hard disks uh, power supply means try to create all those inventory parts which are used inside central processing unit so by the time when I will record the next video I have you would see that I already have motherboard option available with me because I would have recorded it okay so inventory assembly video is after this and to see that video you should be prepared with RAM motherboard see uh, what you say power supply hard disks and all those uh, assets or all those inventory parts that are used to uh, manufacture a central processor unit okay so create these items and then open the video or see the video of inventory assembly but I will press OK here to save this RAM so I have one item here RAM and these are the details of that RAM also so see you around in the next video inventory assembly